In the previous video, we have introduced the ABCD transmission matrix, and we have seen that the main advantage of such transmission matrix is that for cascaded network, the total ABCD matrix is a multiplication of uh, the ABCD matrices of the cascaded networks. Uh, the question now is, what is the relation between the ABCD matrix and the other type of network matrices? We start with the ABCD matrix, the relation between the ABCD matrix and the impedance matrix. And if we have the relation between ABCD and impedance matrix, we can convert it from ABC to impedance and from impedance to scattering and from impedance to admittance and so on. Okay? So once we get a relation between one type of matrices and another type of matrices, we can convert to other types of matrices. Uh, from the point of view of the impedance matrix, the relation between uh, the volt and the current is given by the impedance matrix as follows. It should be noted here that uh, originally it was V1 equals I1 Z11 plus I2 Z12. But because in the definition of uh, the transmission matrix, we have inverted the direction of the current I2. So in this case, uh, the relation of the impedance matrix taking into consideration the new direction of the current I2 would be negative I2 Z12. Right? Because here the current I2 is going outside, not inside as the original definition of the impedance matrix. So V1 in terms of the impedance matrix equal I1 Z11 minus I2 Z12. And V2 equals I1 Z21 minus I2 Z22. On the other hand, the relation between V1 I1 and V2 I2 in terms of the ABCD matrix is V1 I1 equals ABCD multiplied by V2 I2. Now, from the definition of uh, the transmission matrix, we can say that the coefficient A equals V1 over V2 when I2 equals 0. V1 over V2 when I2 equals 0. This is A. And B would be V1 over I2 when V2 equals 0. Now, from the definition of the impedance matrix, if I'm going to set I2 equal 0, so this I2, V1 here is I1 Z11, and V2 is I1 Z21. So the relation between A and the impedance matrix element is given by I1 Z11 over I1 Z21, which can be obtained as Z11 over Z21. On the other hand, B equals V1 over I2 when V2 equals 0. V1, let us make V2 equals 0. V2 equals 0 means that this term I1Z21 minus I2Z22 equals 0. So we can say that I1Z21 equals I2Z22. And V1 here is I1Z11 minus I2Z12. Okay? Alright. So, we have taken V1 over I2. We have not replaced I2 here by anything. When V2 equals 0. So, this is I1 over I2 multiplied by Z11 minus Z12. Okay, I1 over I2 multiplied by Z11. When V2 equals 0, when V2 equals 0, I1 over I2, it would be Z22 over Z21. I1 
for i2 because this is zero so this term equals this term so i1 over i2 would be z22 over z21 so we can replace here z11 multiplied by z22 over z21 minus z12 now by making z2 a common factor so this z11 z22 minus z12 multiplied by z21 over z21 this is value of b in terms of the elements of the impedance matrix and it can be noted here the elements of the impedance matrix have a dimension of impedance so this impedance is squared over impedance so the dimension of v is impedance okay for c and d we can say that c equals i1 over v2 when i2 equals 0 i1 over v2 when i2 equals 0 i1 is i1 v2 is i2 z21 minus i2 z22 but i2 equals 0 so we can say that v2 equals i1 z21 this means that the value of c in terms of the impedance matrix element is 1 over z21 which has a unit of admittance finally d is i1 over i2 when v2 equals 0 i1 over i2 when v2 equals 0 i1 when v2 equals 0 let us say this i2 as it is and v2 equals 0 so this term is 0 so we can say that i1 z21 equals i2 z22 or in other words i1 equals i2 multiplied by z22 over z21 i2 multiplied by z22 over z21 now eliminating i2 by i2 the factor d or the element d of the abcd matrix in terms of the impedance element is z22 over z21 all right so these are the relation between the abcd matrix and the impedance matrix in summary, the relation between A, B, C, D and Z matrix are A equals Z11 over Z21, B equals Z11, Z22 minus Z12, Z21 over Z21, C equals 1 over Z21, and finally D equals Z22 over Z21. If the network is reciprocal, reciprocal network, it means that Z12 equals Z21. Okay? So Z12 equals Z21. In this case, we can note that the value here, Z11 over Z21. Here, Z11, Z22 over Z21 minus 1 over Z21 because this is the same. Here 1 minus 1 over z21, here z22 over z21, by taking this a, b, a, d, it would be z11, z22, over z21 squared, b multiplied by c, it would be z11, z22 over z1 squared, the remaining part is minus minus or without minus minus z11 z21 over z12 z21 z21 which is unity so ad minus bc equals unity so for a reciprocal network the relation between 
the ABCD matrix is A multiplied by D minus B multiplied by C must equal 1 for the case of reciprocal network. All right. Okay. Actually, in a similar case, we can find the relations between uh, the scattering matrix, for example, uh, with the impedance matrix and the admittance matrix. So, uh, the scattering matrix, the element S11, in terms of the impedance matrix, is, is uh, Z1 minus, minus Z0, which is the characteristic impedance of the system, multiplied by Z22 plus Z0 minus Z12 multiplied by Z21 over delta Z, where the definition of delta Z is as follows. Delta Z is Z11 plus Z0 or multiplied by Z22 plus Z0 minus Z12 Z21. And S12 equals 2Z1, 2Z12, 2Z12 multiplied by Z0 over delta Z. S21 is 2Z21 Z0 over delta Z. And it's quite clear here, if the network is reciprocal, Z12 equals Z21 and S12 equals S21. Finally, S22 is given by Z11 plus Z0 multiplied by Z22 minus Z0 minus Z12 Z21 over delta Z. So, if we have the impedance matrix, we can obtain the corresponding scattering matrix. In a similar way, if we have the admittance matrix, we can obtain the corresponding scattering matrix. And finally, if we have the ABCD matrix, we can obtain the corresponding S matrix by this relation. Okay? And here, Z0 corresponds to the characteristic impedance of the system. Alright? Okay. So, this is how to obtain the scattering matrix from the ABCD matrix. Actually, the proof can be done in a similar way to the case of uh, the ABCD from the impedance matrix. Alright?